Elderberry, a powerful tool against cold symptoms and duration. Now keep in mind, I didn't say elderberry as prevention for colds. I just said it's very good for reducing symptoms and reducing the duration of colds. And you'll understand what I mean in a second. In a research article entitled, entitled, titled, uh, Elderberry Benefits Air Travelers, presented in the 21st Annual International Integrative Medicine Conference in Melbourne. The research team showed how elderberry appears to reduce the duration and severity of colds. Pretty powerful stuff for elderberry alone. Elderberry has been used for respiratory infections for who knows how many centuries, but it needs confirmation. And so the researchers were able to get the confirmation that was required to show exactly how effective it is. And this is how they did it. Now keep in mind, I don't have the DOI citation number yet. As soon as I do, I'll post that down below in obviously the body of this article. But here we go. All right, the randomized double-blind placebo-controlled clinical trial was conducted with 312 economy class passengers traveling from Australia to an overseas destination. Cold episodes, cold duration, and symptoms were recorded in a daily diary, and participants also completed surveys before, during, and after tra travel. What the research discovered was this. We found that most cold episodes occurred in the placebo group, but the difference between the placebo and the active group was not significant, meaning there were a few more uh, episodes of colds in the people that were taking the fake medicine, per se, than there was in the elderberry group. However, though, that was not the true benefit of the elderberry itself. What they found out the elderberry did was this. It says, however, the placebo group, the fake medicine group, had a significantly higher number of cold episode days, meaning the people that took the elderberry had significantly less. And symptom score in the placebo group over these days was also significantly higher, meaning the people taking the elderberry that didn't know they were taking the elderberry actually had significantly less symptoms. Those were kind of left out in the cold, so to say, by taking the fake medication, no pun intended, obviously had much more or many more symptoms, so to say. It says the trial used capsules containing 300 milligrams of standardized proprietary membrane filtered elderberry extract. So keep in mind, this is standardized extract of elderberry. So drinking a swig of elderberry wine before you hop on the plane may have some benefits, but probably not in regards to duration of a cold. And let's proceed forward with the researcher said, which was quite enlightening. It says the Griffith study showed recent European research published in the open access journal Current Therapeutic Research suggests that a combination, this is kind of like a bonus thing, of echinacea, herb, and root extract supplemented with elderberry can be as effective as the conventional antiviral medicine Tamiflu for the early treatment of influenza. Ugh. I would have reported on that one, but tell you quite honestly, I'm not really that uh, impressed by the Tamiflu studies anyways, at least the ones that have been released to the public. So I want to leave that one for later on. However, in the conclusion, elderberry, incredibly powerful tool for reducing duration and symptoms of the cold, not prevention of the cold. So its benefit is all in the wording, so to say. Again, Ralph Turciano, I really hope this helps. and Thank you very much once again.